All right, my name is Dale Richmond. We're from the Soul Searchers. I uh, live from Emerson, Kentucky. I'd like to say one thing that uh, this station here goes out to a lot of good people out there in the land that don't have no church and a lot of them at the, in the nursing homes and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. Can't get to attend services and things, so this reaches all them people and shut in people. And I tell you, you don't know how much that they really enjoy this program. So we like to support this and uh, your gifts or what you give or whatever, and it greatly be appreciated. So uh, if you don't watch this program, so tell your neighbor and tell them to get on and watch us. And I tell you, you'll really enjoy it because you feel a good spirit, and the good people here has the good spirit with them. They make you feel right at home. So we enjoy these people, and uh, you'll enjoy them too when you turn on and watch us here on WLJC. So we appreciate you very, very much. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight from the WOJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We want to welcome each of you regardless of where you are or how you're picking us up. We want you to know that we uh, think about you and that uh, it's especially for the sick and the shut-ins that we do these live programs each night to bring some cheer and some hope and some uh, help your way. So now tonight, if you have a praise report, we'd love to hear from you. Or if you have a prayer request, that would be good because uh, uh, Dottie and Brother Cecil and some of his church people's up there, and they'll pray with you, and we will share it on the air if you would like. But, you know, the more people we have praying for individuals, the more that we see good results happen. Well, we want to share some scripture with you, though, tonight. First, before we get into the music, and you will enjoy that, so just get comfortable and stay with us. Mark the 10th chapter, starting with the 17th verse. And when he had, was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good Master, what shall I do to, that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and mother. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I uh, observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give it to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure as treasures in heaven, and come, take up your cross, and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and he went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around, about him and said unto the disciples, How hardly shall uh, they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that have, uh, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for one rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished at this measure, saying among themselves, Well, then who can be saved? And Jesus, looking upon them again, With man it is impossible, but with God, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. For with man it's impossible, but God. 
with God, nothing is impossible. And so there uh, we have the story of the a rich young ruler. And, uh, you know, Jesus said he, had, he knew that he had kept the commandments. He's a good moral person. And Jesus loved him. He appreciated the fact that he had not, uh, you know, done all those things. But then his, that man's, uh, his confidence and his trust was in riches and not in the Lord. And so that's what he, that's what he was trying to tell him. Well, if you sell what you have, it wasn't that he didn't want him to have something, but it was that he had all of his trust in his riches. And, you know, uh, it makes you stop and say, well, think about yourself. Where, where is your trust tonight? Is it in people? Is it in riches? Or, or is it in God? And, you know, uh, Jesus made it plain. Those are the words of him that... Uh, that it's impossible for man to control things like this, but with God, all things are possible. So tonight, if you are facing an impossible situation, remember that with man, it is impossible, but not with God, because not anything's impossible with him. God is sovereign. He sees, he sees with eternity in mind. He knows where we are and what it's going to take to get us there. So he's going to work in our behalf that, uh, uh, to help us to get where we want to go, and that is to be with him in heaven. All right, if you need prayer, go ahead and call, and they'll be glad to pray with you. All right, let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the scripture. We thank you that each time that we open, open the book we learn more we hear of more things that we that can help shape our own life and so father we know there's many people like this rich young ruler they're trusting in everything except you and so we ask you for their eyes to be open tonight that you would help them to see what is going to be good and what is going to last and what is going to fade away so lord help them make the right decisions and we know that uh, when that happens, they will be walking with you and have a victory. So, Father, tonight we need your blessings on the singing, on the phone operators, on the ones that are in need that's going to call. And we thank you for the victory reports that we've been getting in from how you have answered prayer for so many people. And we do uh, uh, thank you in advance for those that you're going to heal, touch, Save and deliver tonight, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we're, we're real happy to have Shan and Bill back with us, and uh, uh, this is, uh, they've not been able to be here too much lately, but they're, they are here because some of their favorite people are here. And uh, we are happy to have uh, Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass Hymn Trio from West Liberty, Kentucky, and let me show you their... Their CDs, um, we have uh, have one here um, about, about Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass Hymn Trio, and then we have another one, uh, another one by him, and then we have two uh, here that tells the the story and the history of um, Ernest Carter and the Carter brothers that sang together for so long. They uh, Many years ago, when we first started the radio station, uh, we played a lot of their their uh, big CD, uh, their big uh, long play record albums, 33 and a third. Uh, so they, anyway, uh, they've been singing for the Lord a long time. And so, if you want more information about their history and so forth, here's two CDs on that, and then here, and they also have singing on them. And here is other CDs. So uh, if you want to call, here's the number to get in touch to find out more. 606-743-2847. So right now let's welcome Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass Hymn Trio. Thank you, Sister Margaret. And we have been at it for a long time. And you're right. We remember you folks when, uh, back in the mid-60s, I guess. And it's been a long time, but God has given us grace, and we're still in the, we need to win this race, and we need it to run it to the end, and it's good to all these years to be seeing you still in, in the wonderful ministry. Hey.
That golden morning is fast approaching Jesus soon will come To take his good and faithful children To eternal home Oh, we, we see the gleam of the golden morning Piercing through this night of gloom See the gleam of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. Tears of those who are broken hearted shall be wiped away. Oh, we see the gleam of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom. Oh, we see the gleam of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. that golden morning church thank you bill kincaid and i was wondering if you and your good wife get to be here tonight and it's a pleasure to see you here and it's good to be here in the good warm studios and uh, be able to sing the gospel again for sister margaret and the lord and uh, we'd like to say that uh, the cry all over the world folks is jesus is coming soon and soon the cry is going to be, he has come. And tonight we're going to ask if you don't know him during this program to turn your life to the Lord. And then if you do that, we'll ask you to do a number two thing. Come call the folks upstairs and tell them about it. And we'll all rejoice together. Mm -hmm. My life is like a house. One day I let the Savior in There were many brooms Where we would visit now and then But then one day I saw the door I knew that it'd come too soon I said, Jesus, I'm not ready For us to visit in that room that's a place in my heart Where even I don't know Has some things hidden there Didn't want no one to know Oh, oh but he handed me the key With tears of love on his face He said, I want to make you clean let me go in your secret place. Then I opened up the door as the two of us walked in. I was so ashamed. Life revealed my hidden sin. But when I think about that room now, I'm not afraid anymore. Cause I know my hidden sin no longer hides behind the door. Was the place in my heart where even I didn't go? Had some things hidden there. Didn't want no one to know, oh, oh, but he handed me the key with tears of love on his face. He made me clean. I led him in the secret place. Is there a 
place in your heart Where even you don't know You have some things hidden there You don't want no one to know If he handed you the key With tears a little on his face He'll make you clean Let him go in your secret place He'll make you clean Let him go in your secret place church he'll make you clean yes amen bill and shanna we're not used to getting applause and we appreciate that so much and we got a yours and don's favorite song we're going to sing about midway through the program if we get to be on that long and uh it's a song that you all like and we'll be glad to do it for you here's a testimony song if the lord is good enough to save us he'll lead us in this world so lord lead me on While traveling down this old highway, trying to find a way down the road of life, always knew someday a mountain would get in the way. When he got there, Lord was too high. Lord, lead me on to the top of the mountain. Take me on down the other side. Take my hand, dear Lord, and guide me. As long as you're going, don't mind the climb. Sometimes darkness or it falls out around me. I can't tell all the day from the night. Oh, but I can hear footsteps walking at midnight. I see a hand, Lord, and it's reaching for mine. Lord, lead me on to the top of the mountain. Sometimes darkness, it'll fall all around me. And I can't tell the day from the night. Oh, but I can hear footsteps walking at midnight. I feel a hand, Lord, and it's reached for mine. Lord, lead me on to the top of the mountain. Take me on down. Lady Mary, and we'd like to say to Sister Margaret that uh, we was expecting Don, uh, the old wheelhouse we call him, of uh, the program here, 
especially in the music department, to be here tonight. But uh, did you say he ate too much or was just... <laughs> Quit telling on him. Oh, okay, I will not rat him off, but That's anyway, it, his birthday, well, I'll not ask you how many, but... Uh, happy birthday, Don. <laughs> we'll say happy birthday, and Don, we do have a song for you and Brother Bill and Sister Shanna a little later on and in the program. We'll ask Lady Mary to come forward now and uh, sing your beautiful song, and Lady Mary, tell her what it the name of it, the song is. If I know Jesus, and I want to send this out, I can't name all my beauty shop customers, but I want to send this out to all my customers that's taken care of me for 34 years in my beauty shop, and they'll be listening tonight. And I've got one lady, Gloria Day, that comes all the way from West Liberty because she's seen us on television to get her hair done. So I'll send that out to my beauty shop customers and all the ladies uh, that said sent them out a song that came and brought Memorial Day flowers from us. And then, uh, and I want to send this out to the West Liberty Prison up in West Liberty, Kentucky. I do um, volunteer uh, chaplain work there, and this was usually my night to be there. And I didn't, I schedule, I didn't realize it. But anyway, man, I'm sorry, but I know you're watching us on television tonight. And I send this out to all you gentlemen at the West Liberty Prison. And uh, the name of the song is If I Had Known Jesus. of a man with riches untold who needed nothing not silver or gold while another man lay at the gate full of souls wanting only the crumbs that fell to the floor. But if I had known Jesus, the rich man says, I'd fed the beggar, gave him my mortal bread. But now it's too late for me to find me. He never found bread. So many today are strained in sin, rejecting our Savior, refuse to come in. Not thinking of Jesus, never stopping to pray. How sad at the judgment to hear them all say. But if I had known Jesus, my soul would be free. I know I would listen. When he calls to me, if I could recall just one single thing, I'd bow on my knees and call on his name. But now it's too late for me to find me. If I had known Jesus, I'd give him my best. If I had known Jesus, I'd give him my best. rich man and it wasn't for his wealth that caused him to go to hell it was uh, what he did with it when in this life That's right. and if he had it to do over as the song said poor Lazarus he'd give him the crumbs that fell 
from the table to the floor. Moreover, he gave him the best he had on his table, I'm sure, if he had known really what was coming down the pike for him. But anyway, Mary, we thank you. And we have a guest that we picked up and brought over to the program tonight. And uh, Sister Margaret, he's watched this program about all of his growing life, I guess, and he's called me several times after we appeared over here and, uh, you know, say how he enjoyed the program. And, and he's told us coming over here, and he watched us just about every night. And his name is, uh, uh, I call him Brother Prater. It's Reese, ain't it? And he's in her in her congregation out there. And first time he was here, and he wanted ask, would we bring him over next time we come over? And that was over two months ago. And so he thought I'd forgotten Sister Margaret, but I hadn't. So we called him and picked him up on the way, and know he enjoyed the service and meeting all the staff here tonight. And I want to thank the good staff that you have here down through the years. Every time we appear here, they give us their best devotion to make us sound good, and I'm glad to see Sister Rhonda back in the, in the sound room because we like to get the best sound out of it that we can possibly get, don't we, Carter? Yeah. And she does a good job of it, and uh, all the good prayer warriors upstairs. And we met Cecil again tonight. He's here. I love him, and sometimes I jokingly call him uh, Jumpin' Jack, but he's... His name is Cecil Burns, and I know your audience knows him real well. And Sister Dottie and the whole crew is upstairs. I called it upstairs, I guess it is, praying and taking your calls. So if you call in tonight, they're here to answer your calls and, and your prayer needs. If you have a prayer, I know they'll do that. All right, the reason I mention all the staff and the technicians around here, they're to be blessed for the good job they do. And I want to say, too, we'll do this song for all the good musicians. Sister Margaret has appeared on this program down through the years, months and years. And this is telling them what to do is to keep on the sunny side. There's a dark and troubled side of life. There's a bright and sunny side, too. Though we meet with the darkness of strife, the sunny side we also may view. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way. It will keep on the sunny side of life. The storms with this fairy rope today. I've seen hopes that we cherry so dear. Clouds and storms will in time pass away. The sun again will shine bright and clear. Keep on sunny side, always on sunny side. Keep on sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all our way. It will keep on sunny side of life. Let us meet. A song of hope each day Though the moon may be cloudy or fair Let us trust in our Savior each day To keep us everyone in his care 
Keep on sunny side, always on sunny side. Keep on sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all our way. It will keep on sunny side of life. It will keep on sunny side of life. Good advice there, Mary. Thank you. Say, in case you've noticed, we've got a new bass man. No, it's a bass lady. No, it's a bass girl. This is, a, this is Ken Folk to Carter. And when he comes up to do a song in a little bit, he's going to brag on her real good. And uh, she's the first time she's ever played on TV or on radio or anything like that. You can tell by looking at her, she's just a child, but uh, she's a young lady, and we appreciate her so much. We'll call her Dee, but Carter's got other names that he calls her, I'm sure. And uh, we'll let him introduce her, but we're proud to have Dee for the first time on this big upright bass. And if you folks like it and want us to keep her in her band, why, well, just write us a letter or give us a call because we think the world of her. And besides, she don't eat Big Macs like we do. She eats the Little Macs on the road, so that kind of helps us financially. Here's a testimony song I'd like to do for you because in my childhood I strayed very far from the Lord and hadn't been for a good praying mother and father, bless their hearts, they'd gone on to glory. And I get to go and see him one day, and a good brother and a couple of sisters that passed away. And it's a tidal I walked away. Now I walked away from the Lord many times. For something that I could not find, I couldn't see through the sun for the shine. But what I needed was there all the time. He never gave. I'm trusting that someday I see. I 
wasn't long. Play it again, Connie. never thought about it being that way till I heard those words. Jesus wasn't lost, it was me. Glad he found me. Well, I tried the Lord's way of living, of living before. Thought something was me, seen for I wanted more. Well, I search for some answers, but the reason was me. I turned back to Jesus, and he set me free. Woo. He never gave the belief on in me. He kept the trust in that someday I'll see. Love was the reason he died on the cross. I found my Jesus, but he wasn't lost. But he was alone. Oh, I'm glad he wasn't lost, church. If they had a wilderness card, it wouldn't have that good thing called salvation tonight. Well, Mr. Bluegrass Boy, you're on the spot tonight, Carter Bricky, and this is Lady Mary over here. I know the audience remembers us. We've been coming here for ages and ages, and uh, I'm not going to mention her name again over there on the extreme right on that beautiful upright bass. You know, with a lot of musicians call bass guitar, bass in their bands, but that's what the little ones are, bass guitars. But that's the old-fashioned bass, upright bass, and your daughter's a planet. Carter, you on and brag on her, son. Oh, I sure will. Glory. First, we have some folks I know that are listening out there that wanted us to do them a song. We got uh, Kathy and Herman Patrick from back in McGolfin, and uh, my old buddy Leonard Florence and his wife Mabel and son Butch. I think they're watching out there tonight, and. Uh, uh, yeah, this is my daughter here, my baby daughter. This is Delana. She's only 13 years old, and she's growing up on me. She goes to the middle school there at Salyersville, and she started back in the summer, wanted to learn the bass fiddle, and uh, so we took it up, and uh, one of my idols always on the bass fiddle was an old boy from back in your county, Jim Franklin. I remember him very well in West Liberty. Uh, and she wanted us to mention him here tonight. Uh, he done uh, some wonderful licks and runs on a bass, and she's going to do some of them for you tonight. And uh, this is a song that my dad loved. And uh, we also want to mention my little son, Landon, your little brother back home. We better do a song for him. But uh, Delana's going to lay it on this bass here on this one for you, one entitled High on the Mountain. children should never go wrong. Though his children should never go wrong. Down from the mountain, Moses walked that day. He said he saw an idol, a golden calf they were worshiping that day. 
Golden calf ever worshiping that day. High on the mountain, on a tablet made of stone, God gave his Ten Commandments so his children should never go wrong. So his children should never go wrong. got angry with a multitude that day. He broke up the tablets, then he threw them down to the clay. See, threw them down into the clay. High on the mountain, on a tablet made of stone, God gave his Ten Commandments. So his children should never go wrong. So his children should never go wrong. Aha, uh -huh. Carter. <laughs> Give us another one. All right, we'll be uh, we'll go right back to them just in a minute, and uh, we'll give them time to catch their breath. You're listening to the Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass Hymn Trio, and. Uh, I might say the young ladies are doing a fine job, so we'll have time for them to get a drink of water, and then they'll be back. And they do have uh, CDs for sale, um, and uh, you need to call. Uh, you need to call uh, this number: 606-743-2847, and they will uh, uh, tell you all about uh, their CDs and what songs are on it, and so forth. And a couple of these now are uh, the story or the history of the Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass uh, Ham Trio. And uh, there's two CDs of that and telling about it. But uh, if you'd uh, like to order them, well, you need to get this number. And uh, so they're going to uh, sing uh, more for us and... Uh, so if they uh, if they're ready, well, we'll just let them come right back. We have some prayer requests in, but uh, we'll take care of that in uh, later. And uh, so we'll they're just getting warmed up over there now. So they'll they have a lot of good songs. They've been singing long enough. They're they got a lot of good muscles in in singing. So uh, we appreciate this group because they love the Lord and they go. To sing about him. It's not about themselves. You don't hear them trying to promote them, but it's about the Lord, and we appreciate that. All right, let's uh, return now to Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass Hymn Trio, and uh, they have some more good songs for you. So if you're enjoying it, go ahead and call. That'll be fine. That'll, that'll not give them the big head, but they will appreciate it. All right, let's return to the music. Thank you, Lady Marty, again. And uh, uh, you can hear us, but I can't hear you over there. Now, the rest of the band can, but they won't tell me what you're saying. It's, I, it's something to do with my my youth, I guess, something about it. Get where I can't hear good. Bill, you understand that, don't you? <laughs> but Carter, you're going to do us another good song, and okay. you've done bragged on your daughter and her wonderful talent for the Lord. But tell the folks what's on your heart again. Okay. We'll try one tonight that uh, was written by a good friend of mine, Mr. David Marshall. He wrote this song back in the early 90s and gave it to me. It's one entitled, Let Me Know. Nobody knows how I'm hurt. No two people see things quite the same. The only thing that I need to know for certain 
my life down here on earth's not been in vain. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, blessed Savior, let me know. Let me know I've been a blessing to a stranger. Let me know my life on earth's not been in vain. both good and bad what they can do it's a lesson that I learned while I was praying Jesus helps the ones that want him to let me know let me know let me know blessed Savior let me know let me know I've been a blessing to a stranger let me know my life on earth's not been in vain. Carter, Ricky, and daughter, uh, let me know, and I'm sure that Jesus will let us know when he calls us home. All right, uh, let's do a song about mother, home, and dad. We like to sing songs about our country, and we like to sing songs about mom and dad, and uh, we certainly like to sing the good hymns and the good songs about heaven, where we're going to go and live eternally one of these days. So uh, we recorded this a few years ago, and we like to do it for you. It's entitled, uh, Carter's Getting His Mailing on This. Well, while they do it, we'll just do another song if you want to. Okay. I wanted to say this out while he's getting us together. Um, I'm having a little problem here tonight. I had a cataract took off. <laughs> And I've always, now I couldn't get fitted in no more glasses, so I can't see, see too good. I asked everybody, I said, I asked my eye doctor, I said, are you going to look better when I get my new eye? And he didn't think it was too funny. <laughs> and uh, so, but uh, so hard for me to read all my notes. But I don't send this out to Jamie Perry Skeens. She might not ever come back to me. <laughs> and so, Jamie, this is for you. And also, uh, on the serious side, I have a grandson that's really battling um, different problems. His name is Derek. He's about 28 years old, I think. It's hard for me to keep up with their ages. So please remember him in prayer. His name is Derek Russell. And um, that guy, would, he's a fine young man. He's uh, one of the pastors at the church where I go to. And uh, to be that young and doing pastoral work and playing drums, it's really awesome. So remember him in prayer. And um, for all the customers and the people that's got requests, I'm sorry they don't get to read them, but next time I'll have my seeing eye back. <laughs> but thank you for watching this. We hope you enjoyed the program. Here's a song entitled I've Been Away Too Long, and that's talking about Kentucky. <laughs> Way down in old Kentucky where time is standing still There's a lane of tired maples on a gentle sloping hill The best years of my life were spent back there when I was young And I've been away too long I walked down to the maples in that little country lane See mom and daddy looking through the kitchen window pane I've not been home in many years and I know that is wrong I've been away too long My 
My mother took me to that little church just down the road. She read the Bible every day and in her life it showed. She's the one who taught me what an old right from wrong. Oh, I've been away too long. I walked down to the maples in that little country lane. See mom and daddy looking through the kitchen window pane. I've not been home in many years and I know that is wrong. I've been away too long. My daddy put his family first, he worked so very hard. With children held by ten and two, the garden and the yard. Daddy taught me to pick and sing a bluegrass gospel song. Oh, I've been away too long. I walked down to the maples in that little country lane. See mom and daddy looking through the kitchen window pane. I've not been home in many years, and I know that is wrong. I've been away too long. I've been away, and I'm going home. Thank you, Bill. You can relate to that, although you're from the grand state of Illinois, I think. I don't know where Shanna is from, are you originally from Kentucky? Yep, 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 I know Sister Margaret was here the first time I met him years and years ago. Not that she's that old. I have some wonderful friends out there. We'll do another mother's song, Vision of Mother in a Minute, but I got some special friends listening in tonight. And uh, boy, I was, I was just about depleted on my, my currency getting ready for Christmas coming up. And uh, the, my good friend Tom and Nick, the Pico brothers from over in Moorhead, they're cattle buyers. And Tom called me up and said, Ernest, the last time back in the fall when we picked up your calves, said you had a couple of little male calves that you might be big enough to sell for Christmas and help you out a little bit. I said, Tom, please come on over. So they showed up uh, day four yesterday and picked up my calves and gave me more Carter for calves that uh, the, they were small than I got for the bigger ones two years ago, so they, they blessed me this, but they're that type of a buyer for me. And Tom and Nick's sister, Elizabeth, she runs this uh, goodies. Pico's goodies. Huh? Pico goodies market. Pico goodies. Pico's goodies. Fruit market out on 32, going east on the 32 out of Moorhead there. And I would, Elizabeth, I'd trade more with you, but every time I come over there, you, you make me ashamed. You're giving me, you just keep loading me in the basket and loading me up and giving that Christmas candy and, uh, and apples and oranges and all the good fruit. We appreciate it. And then uh, I guess Nick's wife is named Ann. She used to come over here and sing with a, a wonderful singing group. And I've not saw her on TV for a while, but they, they still listen in. So for the Picos over in Moorhead, here's a song entitled, A Vision of Mother, and I'm neglect putting my capo on here. All of my thoughts drift back to childhood, to the time when I was free, as I played me for the first around my doll in the dirty then one day and mother left us there 
daddy said she's going to rest oh how I miss my darling mother has touched me to her best there's a blessed home up young Thank you, Bill and Sharon. And Mother, bless you. If you're in heaven and you <laughs> and the heavenly host is listening in tonight, I don't know how it is up there, but we'll see you again someday and all the good mothers that's gone on to that wonderful place. Well, we're going to ask Lady Mary to come up and sing you a song. She says that we have a guardian angel that stands by our side Bill, all the time and walks with us if we will let him or her whichever the angels are but anyway is that what you're going to sing dear? Guardian Angel Of an angel wing, I bring over me. Seems I hear the sound of an angel sing. Guardian angel watching over me. Watching every move I make, watching every step I take. Protecting me from harm's way. My dear Lord, send an angel to watch over me. Oh, yeah. 
God for the angel that I can't see, but sometimes I, I know I, I feel him real well. Bill, you're on tonight, and I ask him to play with us, and I uh, also, also ask uh, Cecil Burns, and he said, yeah, I'll bring my guitar up and play with you all, Ernie. But then uh, Sister Margaret said, ah, he won't, Ernie. I said, he's, he's busy up here answering calls and praying for people. But Cecil, this song's for you also. Margaret, for Don, who... Uh, might be under the weather. It's called The Legend of the Rebel Soldier, the one about the terrible war between the United States, the loved ones at that same time. Mother against mother, father against father, and certainly child against child. In a dreary, dinky prison Where the devil sold a lay By his side stood a preacher Where his soul should pass away And he faintly whispered parson Oh, Parson, tell me quickly, will my soul pass through the south land? Southland through all Virginia Grand. Will I see the fields of Georgia and the green fields of Alabama? Will I see that little churchyard? Carter, you're on again. Oh, just a little bit of summer's gone. Summer's gone and winter's calling. 
trees are bare, and the leaves have fallen. There's talk going around that God is dead, but I see God everywhere. Who made the grass to grow so small? Who made the trees to grow so small? Who made the air that we love to breathe? My God, my God, He made them all. Summer's gone and winter's gone. Trees are bare. There's talk going around that God is dead, but I see God everywhere, I see God everywhere. Who placed the tear in the baby's eye? Who placed the gray in my daddy's hair? Who made the birds to fly so high? My God, my God made them all. Summer's gone and winter's cold. The trees are bare. There's talk going around that God is dead, but I see God everywhere. I see God everywhere. I see God everywhere. God everywhere. Amen. Folks, that calls for another one. If you've got a card, if you want to do us another one. All right, he's going to get his guitar on, on this next one. And I guess we might as well, uh, uh, let's see, let's do the Licking River because some folks out there on around the ridge from where I live like this song. They live like me close to the old Licking River, which fed us back during the 30s when uh, the starvation just about was in, the, in Morgan County there. That was what was they called the Depression. And my mom and dad, although they was poor, and we didn't know it till we moved to Ohio, but uh, they, they were depressed and didn't even know it. They, they'd smile and pray and serve God all through those years. And I remember the old Lickin' River and the good songs that mom sang for me. But you do yours first, and then we'll do that one, Carter. Last night I went to sleep on the shoulders of a giant I heard the sweetest song I'd ever heard Guitars were all strumming and the angels were all singing I knew it was descending from above Dear Lord, I'm so weak and I hate to feel this way Sometimes when strong men have to pray no one else to turn to Lord I thought I'd turn to you I'd ask you for one favor Lord I'm so blue last night I went to sleep on the shoulders of a giant I heard the sweetest song I'd ever heard guitars were all strumming and the angels were all singing I knew it was descending from above. Well, 
With thoughts that had me troubled were upon my younger years. I never felt growing old would be so dear. With a little help from you, Lord, I'm sure I know I'll make it. I thank you, Lord. I know you hear my cry. Last night I went to sleep on the shoulders of a giant. I heard the sweetest song I'd ever hear. The guitars were all strumming and the angels were all singing. I knew it was descending from above. Everybody said, amen. Isn't that beautiful? You, who you say wrote that song? David Marshall. Right? David Marshall. You played with him for a while, right? All right. I forget how, how much longer we got. When, um, huh? Anyway, we said we'd do uh, the old Lickin' River, and we'll, we'll do it. Well, um, then I want us to pick one. We was thinking that Don would be here tonight to pick with us, but... Uh, we can pick it without him, tell him. The old Lickin' River. Tonight my mind goes back to that old Lickin' River. To my old Kentucky home upon the hill I can't see that coal old lamp Burning dimly on the nightstand And mother's sweet songs are with me still Getting up for school On that coal linoleum floor Made me wish that there was some other way Perhaps down through the years As time has come and gone My mother's sweet song will make me glad Tonight my mind goes back to that old Lickham River to my old Kentucky home upon the hill I can see that coal old lamp Burning dimly on the nightstand And mother's sweet songs are with me still Tonight my mind goes back to that old Lincoln River To my old Kentucky home upon the hill I can see that coal old lamp burning dimly on the nightstand And other sweet songs are with me still This old world today Goes on its wicked way No one can seem to tell us what to do One thing I know for sure There's nothing here so pure As those sweet songs my mother sang for me Tonight my mind goes back to that old my old Kentucky home up on the hill I can see that coal old lamp Burning dimly on the nightstand And mother's sweet songs are with me still Take us home, Carter And we're home 
Dee over there always waits for me to say that for to put the tag on it. We got one more song, and we better send this out to uh, Wanda Daniels up in um, Mommysburg, uh, no, up in uh, Monroe, Ohio, Wanda Dan Daniels, and her brother, Lawrence Bishop of the Solid Rock Church, wrote that song, Lincoln River, and we're sending it out to Jim and Loretta Carter Long and Bill and Ann Wilson down in Tennessee. All right, and I want to send it out to some number one, some number two, and some <laughs> number three. It's number one, number one, and uh, three was down in Mississippi, but they get it some way down there. And some number two, uh, David and uh, Ethan, are in Mississippi, and some number two is at, at home, Dustin and Hemp's family, and all my little grandchildren, they're gathered around the TV set there watching, so... We're real represented in the Carter home. So this is an instrumental we'd like to do, and I so wish Bill was here to, uh, I mean, Don was here to be with us. It's, <laughs> we, we'll do it without him, won't we? Well, it takes a lot of love to get to heaven, for love makes the world go around. If you shun your neighbors and feel to Turn you down. It takes a lot of loving to move to that mansion prepared for us above. Well, every time you can, stop and shake a hand and stay in the spirit of love. Sister Bobby. Margaret shared with me tonight how many grandchildren she had, how many great-grandchildren she had, and she got a great-great-grandchild, and so she beat me <laughs> to that one. I've got, Congratulations. She, we both have four children, and uh, how many grandchildren you got? And four, how many grandchildren? Ten grandchildren. I've got 14 grandchildren, and you got? 17 great-grandchildren. She's beat me on that here, one. I've here. only got 12, and she's got one great. But I'm only 73, so I'm going to make it see my great-great ones, too. And that goes, I'll send this program out to all my children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and family. Thank you. Sister. Thanks, Margaret, for having God bless all out there in TV land.
All right, I believe Mary's made us too tired to talk now, talking about how long we've been here. But you know that uh, they uh, seems like the family tree keeps growing with even without any uh, uh, permission from us. So, uh, but children are a blessing, and so families are precious, and uh, we love and appreciate them. All right, you've been listening tonight to the <clears throat> Ernest Carter and the uh, Blue Grace Ham Trio. Now. Uh, like we've said, they've been, the Carter family has been around for, brothers have been around for a long time. And so they, they have a part one, part two of their early uh, singing career. And uh, Ernest, if you'd like to come up here, you can uh, help talk about this. You uh, know more about it. And, uh, and he'll tell you, he'll tell you more, uh, more about uh, uh about these CDs and uh, thank you, Sister Margaret. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the one that I gave you the last time we were here with the early uh, years of my uh, ministry, the first ten nine years of a singing with the old hymn trio, who you remember mm -hmm. come by your fine radio program back in the '60s, and then uh, we got a lot of response from my interview with you or your interview with me, and I appreciate you doing that. Mm -hmm. Certainly appreciate you letting me speak about volume number two. This is the early years in my bluegrass, and uh, it covers from uh, when we left off in the uh, mid-'70s up about 10 or 15 years with all my little family. Oh, okay. uh, son number one, number two, and daughter number one and number two, and went for about 10 or 15 years. And that's all my early bluegrass years, hmm. and uh, brought us up to pretty well where we got the band today. So oh, okay. we appreciate you uh, letting us tell about that. And she's done told you how you can get a hold of this. Uh, okay, tell us a little about uh, these two, if you'd like. Well, these are the, this is, would be uh, volume number four with the present uh, group, Carter, Mary, and son number one and son number two. And uh, the first one we did was the, the Bluegrass Hymn Trio singing Keep on the Sunny Side. Mm -hmm. And the last one, these were DVDs that we told you about before, but these are CDs. And here's one that's um, 12 Men, and that's the life story and, and song of the 12 apostles. I don't know... The Christian troubadours wrote the song years ago, a group out in California. And we've recorded this twice, but we did this about a year or so ago. And it's our latest CD. Mm -hmm. And we'd appreciate, the, you'd like to have any of those. You either contact Sister Margaret here at the station, or she done told you where to get a hold of Ernest Carter and the Bluegrass Hymn Trio. Okay, yeah, they will, uh, we'll just give them your phone number again so they can get in touch with you because... Um, that's that's where you need to go to purchase these. 606-743-2847. Is that right? That's correct. All Appreciate right. it. Appreciate it. All right. Do you have any other singing engagements you want to mention while you're here? Yeah, but Lady Mary does that. She's our oh. secretary treasurer and uh, and uh, at Christmas time our treasure is oh. pretty low, but we, we're not singing anywhere else this month because as you know, we give it to the man in the red suit mm -hmm. all the month of uh, December. Mm -hmm. But we start back in January, and I think our first engagement will be up in Dayton, Ohio. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll advertise it. Oh, well, all right. thank you for asking, though, Sister Morgan. We appreciate it so very much. All right. Uh, well, um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people heard you tonight and take this <laughs> number down and inquire about the tapes because... Uh, and the DVDs. All right, we have some wonderful news here from Montgomery County. Ann has called tonight and given her heart to the Lord. And so that's a salvation report. And that Jesus said one soul is worth more than the whole world. Yes, so we, yes. we rejoice and we know angels do. The, the Bible yes, says angels do. rejoice. There's, pres there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels. And I believe that rejoicing is with some of our loved ones and those that have already made it home. They rejoice when Absolutely. they know that we come in. All right, here is uh, John and Lily McGeorge. We've met these fine folk, and they was uh, 
They're from over in Laurel County. We met them at a church over there, their home church. And they have celebrated um, a big wedding anniversary, 66 years. And so uh, they, uh, that was today. So uh, that, John and Lily McGeorge, 66th wedding anniversary. Very good. Appreciate that. Hearing from it. Connie is in the hospital in Somerset. A lady from Owsley, uh, pray that her test comes back okay. Someone else is having surgery on Monday from Owsley, from Indiana. Uh, someone is in the hospital uh, due to a car accident and really needs help. Betty from Mount Sterling for Alma. And also here's from Harrison County. Uh, Wilma from Lee County has called a uh, prayer for herself. And also from San Gap, uh, someone with cancer from Bath County uh, just needs the Lord to move in a situation. Kay from uh, another one from Bath County, from Scott County, uh, pray for a brother that's in Texas, from Whitesburg, from Casey County, from Jackson, from, here's James that's in the hospital, from Letcher County, and from Clay County. And we're about to talk ourselves out of time, but we do have uh, we do have some uh, another uh, another another praise report. Yeah. This is from Knox County. Alice has called and given her life to the Lord. Praise God. So this Praise is great. God. Let's pray, Father, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. We thank you for these two uh, salvation reports. We pray for a special hedge of protection to be over these and let them. Uh, grow in you and and Lord help them to win others uh, to you bless these that are facing surgery the ones that are with cancer and so mm -hmm. forth Father you know the needs and so we ask you to undertake for them they've had faith to call so we're going to put our faith with theirs so that the prayers will be answered bless each person Lord that has had a part in the service bless our singing guests and give them safety and their on their travels and let them continue singing for you in Jesus name amen. amen all right once again let's give them their your phone number so uh, uh, that okay. they can call you Ernest Carter 743-2847 your mic's in your hand we appreciate any calls or orders Okay. And Sister Margaret, I want to give you our latest DVD. Well, thank you. We gave you the other one. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Talk into your mic. They can't hear what you're saying there. Um, okay. My phone number is 606 743 2847. Right. That's Ernest Carter and the Hem Trio. And we appreciate any uh, calls or any mail that you might send us. We'll respond the next day if possible. That's that's very good. We're out of time. So from all of us here, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606 464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y Beattyville, Kentucky 41311 Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.